We welcome you back to Hot Springs, the spa city site of the 2023 Centennial State Basketball Championships here in Arkansas PBS Plus. It's great to have you back with us. Kyle Deckelbaum with longtime Sylvan Hills coach Kevin Davis. Great to have your expertise. And you actually have one of the wins over this Lake Hamilton team. So you know Pine Bluff and Lake Hamilton very well. Yes, I do. We got to play both those teams this year. Played uh, Lake Hamilton early in uh, December and then just play, played Pine Bluff here in the tournament. Uh, that's going to be a lot of fun here. Hey, we've already had a great day. Three games so far. And let's show you exactly what we've had earlier in the day. Boy, how about Nashville? A ferocious comeback against Farmington. But it's the Cardinals that come away with the championship redemption for Farmington. And they get the win. In the second game, Little Rock Christian was showing off in a major way. Little Rock Christian getting the win over Blyville in game two. They were high flying in that game. And then as you just saw before us, Greenwood with the big win. Greenwood taking home the state championship. And now we get set for the start of the 5-8 boys state championship game. We will break it all down when we come back after this. Team sports in Arkansas really is the building of character. It's being able to get through trials and tribulations as a team. You take those lessons from team sports and use them in everyday life situations. I'm RJ Hawk. Please consider giving to Arkansas PBS Sports. Okay, Frisbee, let's remember, it's one bark for true and no barks for false. Arkansas PBS is Arkansas's largest classroom. Bark! Frisbee didn't eat my slippers. Oh, Frisbee, how could you? No, I'm sorry, Miss House. I was going to tell you, but it slipped my mind. Please don't let it slip your mind and donate to Arkansas PBS today. Bark! For every moment, for every memory, from that first car, to your first home, to your first child, and all the highs and lows that tomorrow might bring. For everything that matters most to you and your family, there's someone right around the corner dedicated to helping you protect what you love. Your local Farm Bureau Insurance agent. Farm Bureau Insurance. Real service, real people. away from tip-off for one of the most highly anticipated matchups of this weekend here in Hot Springs. It's the 5A boys, Lake Hamilton and Pine Bluff. Let's talk first about Lake Hamilton. They've made that short, up 20, 25-minute drive over and take a look at their bracket. Wins over Parkview, Marion, and Harrison in order to get here to the championship game, trying to become the first Garland County team to win a championship since 2000 when Lakeside did it. And let's talk about their player to watch. They got two of them, Coach Davis, Zach Pennington, and Ty Robinson, who's been incredible. Yeah, both those guys can really fill it up. Yeah, so Pine Bluff really going to have their hands full of keeping those guys uh, at bay for sure. And then for Pine Bluff, they have been dominant in the state tournament. Wins over Sylvan Hills, Nettleton, and Green County Tech where they held to just 26% shooting. They rely on their defense, and they rely very heavily on Courtney Crutchfield. Yeah, Courtney is an electrifying player. Uh, he's got a gear that uh, a lot of these guys uh, don't have, but, you know, Lake Hamilton's familiar with them, having played them in conference twice. This is the third meeting between these two teams. Pine Bluff has won the previous two, 66-48 and 62-55. Both were close games. And the coaches, after that second game, shook hands and said, round three in Hot Springs, let's do it. Here we go. And a very quick foul. Both teams ready to go, a lot of energy right off the tip. No kidding, and you start to see the, I think, aggressiveness from Lake Hamilton. You try to go blow for blow against this aggressive, physical Pine Bluff team. Yeah, Lake Hamilton's trying to come out and match that right off the bat. Xavier Barnett along the baseline. He'll kick it back out. There's Braylon Hall. He was questionable in this game. Travel's going to be called there on Crutchfield. Uh, good to see Braylon Hall, who brought, provides a little bit of perimeter shooting capability for this Pine Bluff team. He's good to go and in the starting lineup for the Zebras today. Pine Bluff, by the way, 
seeking its 14th state title. The last one coming in 2015. The last time they played in the finals, 2016. And it's been 60 years since Lake Hamilton won a state championship. The nice block, block inside. Turn back over. Lake Hamilton has it. Deep, deep three. Zach Pennington, the coach's son. The rebound, Jordan Harris underneath. That's what Harris does, control those boards. Here's Courtney Crutchfield, who we spotlighted. Big time wide receiver prospect. It's a Pine Bluff team with a bunch of football players. So powerful and athletic. And you see it right there. Jordan Harris underneath lays it in for the first two points of the game. Jordan does a lot of nice things. He's got a lot of uh, intuition things that he does that a lot of guys, uh, you know, may miss. Uh, we caught some things on tape that were really impressive that Jordan did. Charter Harris trying to drive underneath the block, block by Harris. Rushing the other way. Crutchfield in transition. Trying to give it off. It goes out of bounds. It'll stay with the Zebras. It's going to be key for Lake Hamilton to get back and stop those transition points. Good job of getting back, getting a hand on it. Crutchfield inside. Harris, the spin through traffic makes it look so easy. <laughs> He's tough on that block. Jordan Harris, big and strong. Uh, and once, Coach Billy Dixon said he's playing like he's hungry. Yeah, once it gets down in there, it's a problem. So you've got to try to keep that out of there. Pennington, no look pass. The kick out to the corner, a little too short. In transition, here comes Crutchfield. Look out, lays it yeah. in. And a timeout on the floor. So we've already seen Pine Bluff rush down through a six-point lead. Let's talk about our keys to the game here for Lake Hamilton, Coach. Well, as we said right there, our keys are going to be getting back and limiting what they can do in transition. So you may have to send two back immediately, but you cannot let them get out and get those transition points because uh, they can sure rack them up in a hurry. And they've got a score. they got to keep pace for sure with Pine Bluff. How about, how about for these Zebras? Uh, for uh, Pine Bluff, they they uh, they're doing a good job right now. They they can't let Lake Hamilton get that perimeter game going. They can, you know, that's the thing. Uh, Lake Hamilton's so strong in the perimeter game, they can make up a lot of points in a hurry. So you know, it's a game of runs. So uh, they'll have to be careful that uh, with, with Lake Hamilton on the perimeter. Yeah, Lake Hamilton can get very dangerous when they get three and 33. Zach Pennington and Ty Robinson going. Yeah, they're going to need to be physical on the, down inside on the rebounds and limit Pine Bluff's offensive glass. Easton nice Hurley, back the cut. quarterback for Lake Hamilton, a whistle there. Nice back cut by Ty. That's, fouls could be a key. Lake Hamilton get them in some, some foul situations could help them. A foul on Barnett there. Deep three-point attempt. Ty Robinson off the mark. And the tip out of bounds. It's going Pine Bluffs away. Pine Bluffs put you in that situation because you're, you're, you're stuck between transition getting back but also getting to the board. So it, it, it really handcuffs you, puts you in a tough, puts your kids in a tough spot. Saw Billy Dixon there in his ninth season leading Pine Bluff. How about Xavion Barnett off the mark? Top rebound by Harris. It goes out of bounds, and I believe he's going to go to the line here. One thing Billy Dixon told us, Jordan Harris, he, he just, he gets beat up. He is so physical. But Pine Bluff coach Billy Dixon says, without Jordan, we don't win. And in the state tourney, 35 points, 34 rebounds. That 7-1 wingspan, tough to match up against. So tough to match up again. And, and he's got great footwork. He puts himself in such great position on shot blocking, rebounds, scoring around the basket. You know, he does a tremendous job getting himself in position. Here comes Zach Pennington, the all time scoring leader for Lake Hamilton. The coach's son kicks it out. Easton Hurley. This is Robinson. Nowhere to go. Lake Hamilton looking for their first points inside. LeBron Kristen can't finish. Rebound Pine Bluff in transition. Here they go again. Crutchfield spinning away from defenders. Lays it up. No good. Rebound Robinson. 
rushing the other way. Robinson gives it off to Kristen, and he stepped out of bounds. That was tough. That would have been nice to pick that bucket up in transition. LeBron Kristen, by the way, spelled L-A-B-R-A-U-N, a sophomore. Inside, that's headed the other way. It's another foul. That's a good job, Lake Hamilton, getting drawn another foul. That's the first on Harris. And another look here. He's yeah. so physical, like we talked about, you're going to get whistled for that, yeah, right? Yeah, lower that shoulder like that. They're going to get you. Giving the go to Hurley, there and the layup is good. Lake Hamilton's on the board. But you hear the crowd, a short trip over, just down the road, Lake Hamilton, from here in Hot Springs. That's big to get that bucket. It'll break the ice a little. Hall for three, a little bit too strong. Rebound, Kristen. Hall's headed the other way here. Good pass. Robinson gives it off to the corner. Pennington back to Robinson for three. Around and out. Good look. Big board by Barnett. Xavion Barnett's been terrific in the state tourney. And Billy Dixon came to him earlier in the season, took him into a storage closet and said, look, we're going to go as you go. I want you to be a team leader here. And he told him, I want you to be like a quarterback and read your, through your progressions. Crutchfield inside. Oh, nice ball fake. In. Well, tough to step in front of that. It is. You, you're, uh, once he gets inside of you, it's hard. And to finish that thought on Barnett, told him to be like a quarterback. He's a running back for the Zebras. Got a tight end, a running back, and a wide receiver on Pine Bluff. Robinson, wild shot, not there. Gets his own rebound, kicks it out. Zach Pennington on the drive. Now baseline gives it back to Robinson. Hoists it up, not there. Tip. And Robinson has it again. Pulls up from the free throw line and knocks it down. Jordan needs a little help in there on the glass. Ty Robinson offers from UCA, SAU, and OBU. Thousand point score, two time All State. Scott Pennington called him the coach's dream. Deep three, Crutchfield off the mark. Yeah, Ty can do everything. He's uh, he's the complete package. Transition, Kristen at the other end. He'll go to the Good line. Finish. Just what Lake Hamilton ordered. So when we come back, LeBron, Kristen's going to be going to the line for Lake Hamilton. There's a break in the action. Another look here. What a start in Hot Springs. You're watching the Centennial State Basketball Championships on Arkansas PBS Sports. Centennial Bank is committed to you. Since our founding in 1999, we've become one of the nation's most trusted banks by remembering that you come first. By empowering our communities to reach their highest potential through our dedication to local charity, education, and exceptional service. Because we are proud to call Arkansas home. Banking with you in mind. Centennial Bank. Member FDIC. This month on Arkansas PBS. We'll explore the intersection of technology and art. Introducing laser cutting into our work. Culture shock. Avoiding it is what keeps many from traveling. But when you travel, the world becomes a smaller place. Cook paella for the entire neighborhood. Shake our castanets to fiery gypsy music and marvel at Granada's Alhambra. Only on Arkansas PBS. Hey, at Wendy's, we're focused on what matters. That's why we've made our hamburgers square. When you want to experience the delicious taste of Wendy's hamburgers, squares the beef. A 6-2 run by Lake Hamilton after a 7-0 start by Pine Bluff in this one. And you see Billy Dixon sitting down. I think he's the first to admit his team is just so athletic. They're, they're not always going to run the most the best looking sets, but boy, they will just run you out of the gym. They are just so athletic. And LeBron Christian can't convert there. 
Well, Lake Hamilton back in this one, Coach. Yeah, they gave them a little bit of taste around medicine right there, uh, scoring inside to get, get this thing back down to a three-point ball game. Yeah, transition bucket as well. Xavion Barnett underneath a turnover. Good job of Lake Hamilton crashing down. Zach Pennington gets it up. Harris gives it off. Hurley kicks it back. Ty Robinson here. Robinson, a junior, at 6-3. On the drive, Robinson, yep. that's going to be a travel. Well, basketball family. His mom played in the Final Four for Joe Foley at Arkansas Tech. He's passed it on. And so is Scotty Pennington to his two sons in this game. Dribble fake, and the float is oh. good. Nice mid-range. Xavion Barnett. He had 18 points in the semis, three threes. Robinson the other way, and they're going to count that. He will also go to the line. He's going to attack here and uh, try to get Pine Bluff back in there a little bit, maybe open up that perimeter game as well. Nice job getting to the rim. We mentioned the previous two meetings, and in that first meeting, Zach Pennington and Ty Robinson went five for 32 from beyond the arc. You have to figure that is not going to happen today. <laughs> well, they certainly don't need it to. They need to be able to knock some of those perimeter shots in. That certainly puts a lot of pressure on, got it on down Pine to, Bluff. Yeah, I got it down to a two-point game here. They're going to have active hands inside. They know Pine Bluff's coming in there. Got to keep it out of there. Crutchfield, the spin, and a travel call. Seen some turnovers here. I know coaches aren't happy with those. Both teams need to watch and uh, limit those. So it could be a key factor in this one. Already four on Pine Bluff. That's another. Make that three unlike Hamilton. Jordan Harris the other way. Hall swings it around. Crutchfield back to Hall. Going to try a three. Off the mark. And this is headed Lake Hamilton's way. Going to call a foul there on Austin Dendy. Yeah, Austin's kind of blocked out on that situation and uh, kind of got a reach in right there. And Billy Dixon says he has been the X factor this year as Dendy. Zach Pennington. Too short. Rebound underneath by Lake Hamilton. Maintain possession. Hurley off the mark. Robinson, look at him fight for the rebound, but Harris a little bit too tall. You got a second possession right there. And keep that going. You have to think those kind of moments, those second chance points, will be so big for Lake Hamilton. They will be. Because Pine Bluff is really, really good on the defensive glass. Uh, offensive foul there on Harris. Got to be careful lowering that shoulder. Lake that's Hamilton, good job tightening up inside. Yeah, that's his second. Another look here. Robinson was ready for it. He was. He caught that little high out and uh, lowered the shoulder trying to get to the rim, get a, get a little closer and uh, lowered that shoulder and got that. The final five Second seconds foul. here. They can tie or take the lead at the end of the quarter. Pennington off the mark. Almost had it. Uh, well, it's been a fun first quarter. Been a fun first quarter. Sometimes the, the, that, the Lake Hamilton uh, a group, Zach, they can knock those in. So, uh, you know, that could definitely uh, hit a couple of those as you see with such a close game how that would change it. 11 9, you're watching the Centennial State Basketball Championships at Arkansas PBS Sports. Broadcast of this championship game is made possible by the Electric Cooperatives of Arkansas. Over 2,500 team members across 17 local electric distribution co ops powering homes, farms, and industries somewhere across Arkansas. We are the Electric Cooperatives of Arkansas. Power and people. We on that next level. We on that next level. 
Local broadcast of Arkansas PBS programming is made possible in part by Community Bakery. Scratch-made breads, pastries, cakes, treats, and locally roasted coffees served daily at two locations in Little Rock, 1200 Main and 270 Shackleford. all over again next week. Watch all the championship games and Arkansas PBS sports features at youtube.com slash Arkansas PBS. Raylan Hall is going to come away with this for Pine Bluff. Kyle Deckelbaum and longtime Sylvan Hills coach Kevin Davis on the call with you here in Hot Springs. You brought up a great point. You won that state championship. It was the third time you played Mills. You can sort of relate to what these two teams are doing as Darion Graydon lays it in. Absolutely. I think uh, the pressure there is probably a little bit more on Pine Bluff. They've won two games. They've got to come out and try to dominate a third and that, you know, they can do it. They just have to be have that mindset. It's kind of something to having to beat a team for the third year for third time in a row, I should say. Yeah. Nice lay in there. 13 11. Yeah. That's sometimes a cliche, but there's something to that, I think. Oh, I think so. I think uh, Lake Hamilton, they just pin their ears back and go play. You know, they, they've played them twice, they know, so uh, I, I feel like Pine Bluff's got a little more of the pressure. Harris pulls up. He oh, knocks it nice. down. A big guy stretching the floor. That took three. At our first uh, three of the ball game, right? Zach Pennington here yet to score. Whistle underneath. Charter Harris is on the floor. They got to get Zach Pennington going, you would think. They do. Before that three right there, I think both teams have just struggled out here beyond the arc. So uh, that'll probably open up as we move along. That foul was on Dandy. He's second. Oh, Charter Harris at the line here. It, a good story. He was a guard until he grew four inches between ninth and tenth grade. And Coach Scotty Pennington said, sending, sending you down low now. Yeah, nice frame on him, and I think he can really help them tonight. Wouldn't we all love to have a four-inch growth spurt? Harris working baseline. Oh, beautiful defense. Blocks. Harris the other way. Preston down low. Oh. Lays it yeah, in. Nice change of direction. These two teams are going toe to toe and you can tell coach there is no secrets between them. No. Now that's why I said that adds a, a special element to this game. Uh, the fact that they're so familiar with each other. Kick out Crutchfield. Gives it off. Dandy lays it in. I'm bluff imposing their will in that paint. Five point game now Robinson. Kicks it out. Easton Hurley on the drive. Spinning underneath. Not there. Well, how big has Harris been rebounding the ball? That's five already in the game. Well, that's what I said, and he does a, a great job. Uh, technique, his box out's really good. Here he is. Committed to Missouri as a tight end right now. And I mentioned you got a tight end, wide receiver, and quarterback in this team. A running back. No call there. Harris can try again. Christian the rebound. Blake Hamilton down five. Five minute point here in the second quarter. Pull up jumper. A little bit too strong. And a whistle. Going to call the foul there Pine on Bluff Hurley. Does, Pine Bluff does a tremendous job on the defensive boards. That's just another example right there. Get them that possession that they need. They've got to limit uh, Lake Hamilton getting into those second chances. And the same thing needs to happen down here. But Pine Bluff's done such a good job getting it inside. Mm -hmm. And he gives it off Crutchfield. Pull up from the charity strike. 
Not there. Rebound Robinson. Ty Robinson sees a lane. His eyes are big. And it's going to be a charge. Yeah, Courtney was there waiting on him. And Robinson, by the way, getting up a little gingerly there. He got tangled. Yeah, that's not good. He doesn't. Boy, Robinson is limping right now. This would be, this would be a huge loss here for Lake Hamilton. I think he's going to have to come out. They're going to bring Zach Pennington in for him, and Robinson is just going to walk right into. Oh, go to the end of the bench there. You hope he's okay. Speaks to the physical nature of, of this game. Played at this kind of speed. See if Pine Bluff can take advantage. It's a good start there. Xavier and Barnett. So we had two of those injuries ourselves this year, so ankle injuries have kind of been a popular this season. Yeah, freak injuries. Here's the younger Pennington, Zane, on the drive. Might have been surprised he was so open when he got there. <laughs> we'll see if Pine Bluff can make a run here with Lake Hamilton's leading scorer, Ty Robinson, who averages 24 in the end of the bench right now with an apparent ankle injury. Barnett, pull up jumper off the front of the rim. The rebound, Zach Pennington. The school's all time scoring leader and assist leader. What career he's had playing for his dad. Pennington dumps it off underneath LeBron Kristen fighting oh, for it. Nice that one's block. tipped away by Crutchfield. In transition, here comes Crutchfield at the other end, and he's got it. That's what Courtney does well, transition buckets. He is just an effortless scorer. Makes it look so simple. Early kicks it out. Kristen on the drive. They miss a lot of those layups. Yeah, they, they, they've missed some chippies. Crutchfield. They'll smartly give it back, and Braylon Hall will slow things down. I mentioned Hall was questionable for this game, playing through a little bit of an injury. Pine Bluff up 22-13. Underneath Barnett, not there. There's another missed chip shot. Good job by Pine Bluff going high-low right there. Zach Pennington pulls up from the top of the arc. And Hurley with the follow. Easton Hurley. He's getting to the offensive glass. Team's starting quarterback and a center fielder in baseball. I like he's got a nose for that ball coming off the rim. And right spot, right time there. On the other end, Dandy right, Block. Nice block. Rebound in putback is there, Darian Graydon. Coach called Graydon the most improved player on his team. A sophomore. That Might be one of the top sophomores in the state. Zach Pennington yet to score in this one. That one's taken away. Graydon, and he can't hang on to it. Out of bounds here right in front of us. Yeah, Lake Hamilton looked a little winded right there on that possession. So we have a quick timeout here. We will be back. But first, let's check in back at Arkansas PBS Studios to see what they have on tap for us at halftime. Sully. Hi, I'm Steve Sullivan. And I'm Ed Leon. Coming up on the halftime show. The epic sports photos sweeping social media. And some of the most memorable sports stories ever on Arkansas PBS. We'll see you on the halftime show. Hey, I'm Rick Steves. You know, I don't go anywhere without my passport. And now, thanks to PBS Passport, you can travel with me and watch all 10 seasons of Rick Steves Europe and all my travel specials. This exclusive streaming service is just for our members. Not only can you see all my shows, but you can see thousands of hours of your favorite public television shows. Become a member today and get your passport. Thanks, George. Appreciate it. At Big Red Stores, we're always proud to sponsor, support, and partner up with many events and activities throughout the community. Among them, high school championships throughout the state of Arkansas. 
At Big Red Stores, our team members are always ready to assist you to make your visit with us a pleasant one. And at Big Red Stores, we recognize that none of our support or ability to serve the community is possible without you. That's why at Big Red Stores, you're always the MVP of the Big Red team. Big Red Stores, now more convenient than ever. We on that next level. Back in Hot Springs, if you love seeing these televised high school sports championships, please consider making a gift to Arkansas PBS today. Lake Hamilton down nine, about 25 minutes away from their campus here in Hot Springs. Nice little dump off. Cooper kick down low. The big man. That's an inside bucket they need. They were uh, at about 28% and they've missed some, some easy ones inside, so that, that maybe give them a lift. Yeah, Lake Hamilton's missed six layups. Feels like a lot more than that, but you made a great point. That explains the seven point deficit right there. It does, it does. You get some of those uh, to go in for you, it's a different game right now. Yeah, it's headed the other way. Yeah. Charge there on Dendy. Nice job by Hurley. That is foul number three on Austin Dendy. One thing Coach Billy Dixon said when I talked to him this week is, you know, I keep telling our guys, just keep playing, just keep playing, just keep playing. Don't let things rattle you. A steal, and Barnett couldn't save it. Goes flying into the scorer's table. Well, frustration there. Nearly had a wide open look. He shot the gap so quick when he hit it, it uh, ricocheted out. A little bit softer hands right there. That, that's a. Uh, Probably a nice finish for him. We'll I'll see if Lake Hamilton can get some momentum here into halftime. Down seven. Big possession here. Final 40 seconds. Zach Pennington get the score here in the first half. Underneath. That one won't go. But Charter Harris will go to the line. And shoot two. So if he can knock these in, uh, that would really help them because I know uh, they're probably a little frustrated with some shots not going in, but uh, they're hanging around right now. That's what you want. Some of that stuff they can maybe clean up. Well, you got to feel good, I think, if you're Lake Hamilton here going yeah. into halftime. You're, you've are you missed some easy shots. You're only down exactly, seven. Exactly, exactly. And the coach tell them, you know, that we know that's not the best we can play, so that's something we can correct coming out. Not to mention the Penningtons, either Pennington has not scored in this game. Yeah, that is a little bit of a shocker coming in this first half. You wouldn't have believed that was going to happen. As Zane, a sophomore, Zach, a senior, their head coach, Scotty, in his 11th season at Lake Hamilton. Yeah, tough miss there. Tough miss. And Scotty, by the way, played for his Hall of Fame dad, Jim at Emerson. And won a 96 championship. Remembers watching Lake Hamilton in the finals in 1996. 96 and 97. Hard to believe it's been since 96, 97 for Lake Hamilton to make the finals. They have not won a championship since 1963. Meanwhile, for Pine Bluff, looking for their 14th, the first since 2015. The equally hard to believe that Pine Bluff has not won since 2015. There we go. Shot clock off. 20 seconds. Pine Bluff will play for the final possession here. Barnett at the screen. Picks double up his high, trying to go inside high low. Down low. Oh. Harris gives it off. Pretty move. Spellman lays it in. Nice slip by Spellman. Two seconds. Robinson heaves it up. Good to see him back at the game. It's off the backboard. But yeah. that's great news for Lake Hamilton. Great news for Ty to be back. Because Ty brings so much to Lake Hamilton. It's a 26-18 Pine Bluff lead. Halftime here the 5A Boys Championship. You're watching the Centennial State Basketball Championships on Arkansas PBS Sports.
broadcast of this championship game is made possible by the Electric Cooperatives of Arkansas. Over 2,500 team members across 17 local electric distribution co-ops, powering homes, farms, and industries somewhere across Arkansas. We are the Electric Cooperatives of Arkansas. Power and people. Local broadcast of Arkansas PBS programming is made possible in part by Community Bakery. Scratch-made breads, pastries, cakes, treats, and locally roasted coffees served daily at two locations in Little Rock, 1200 Main and 270 Shackleford. Is now a session. The Electric Cooperatives of Arkansas. Over 2,500 team members across 17 local electric distribution co ops, powering homes, farms, and industries somewhere across Arkansas. We are the Electric Cooperatives of Arkansas. Power and people. It is halftime again at Bank OZK Arena, but stay right there. We've got a lot to share. Inspired by many of the iconic images taken by sports photographers over the years, a trend known as Sportraits is sweeping social media. Here's a peek into the epic world of sport portraits that make players look like superstar athletes. That's good. You want to see it? Oh, this is cool. Ooh, Yes, sir. I need them ASAP. The term that most people who do this type of sports work, they call it sportraits. So I typically ask my teams, like, what kind of look do you want? 90% of the time they want a dark background and they want the fog machine. At first, it really didn't like catch on. I've really had this kind of style of photo since 2014. And back then, I wasn't using a fog machine or atmosphere aerosol in the can. I was using baby powder. <laughs> baby powder looks really cool, but it's also very messy. <laughs> Don't recommend using it. <laughs> so this is uh, Mayflower High School senior, and we set his bat on fire. The kid's name is actually Blaze. <laughs> and I have a special mixture that I use. It lights and it goes up and in like one second it's gone. So you gotta be quick take, taking a picture. The kids really like the fire photos. I just, I can't do it for all my teams. It just takes too long to kind of set up. Or if your name's Blaze. I mean, if your name's Blaze, we have to. So I had an idea. What if I show my behind the scenes on a regular phone and what it actually looks like with a professional camera with lighting so you can just show the difference. I get people commenting on videos. This could easily be done in Photoshop in like five minutes. And I can do it right now in one minute and I don't have to do it later. The more you can do in camera, the less post work you have to do is gonna make your life so much better. This has the most views online of any of my reaction videos. And that video was shared by ESPN Sports Center. And I have a couple of reaction videos that I've posted on TikTok and Instagram that have like over 30 million views. It makes my job kind of rewarding to actually see people like react that way to the photos that I take. I want these kids and their, and their parents to actually have something that they want to like hang on their wall and they want to remember. The quality, the, you know, the lighting, oh, I gotta have it. It's the new profile pic, you know. Creativity and technology are the main ingredients to make portraits come to life. For many young athletes, these photogs give them a chance to shine like stars and become larger than life. All right, let's honor some of the students who made the grades to become an Arkansas PBS Student All-Star. Here's the boys 1A, 3A, and 5A classifications. We start off with Jonah Walker with the Mark Tree Indians. Jonah hopes to one day be an anesthesiologist and enjoys playing games with his little brother. Next up is Kellen Robinson representing the Episcopal Collegiate Wildcats. Kellen plays basketball in his free time and hopes to continue his passion in college. Finally, we have Jones White from the Valonia Eagles. Jones has a 4.5 GPA and will go to college to pursue physical therapy and play basketball. To see all the Arkansas PBS student all-stars, visit the Arkansas PBS YouTube channel or scan the QR code. Congratulations and keep up the good work. Now let's get over to Ed Leon. He's going to let you know how these sports broadcasts fit nicely into the Arkansas PBS mission, Ed. Thanks, Sully. 
We've seen a lot of basketball today, and I get asked all the time, why is Arkansas PBS broadcasting sports? Well, the answer is simple. It's not just sports. These broadcasts are a lens through which we can see students and athletes achieve in different ways, and they've led us to unexpected, inspirational, and award-winning stories. It's the final game of championship weekend here in Hot Springs. It's a sold-out crowd. Here we go. Tip-off is set. Back with a right hand. Tie ball game. When you going to wake up? Y'all going to wake up when the season over? That's swung on and lifted high to right field. He's going back to the warning track. It's out of here. I can kind of look at people and tell if they doubt me. You know, you can kind of see their entire expression kind of change right when you make it. The sun is setting in Saline County, and we've got 4A baseball. A title's on the line. Rester gives it off. Right side. The 10, 5, walk the dog, touchdown. Anyone could feel the pride that people from Stevens had white and black, having won a state title. That is a foul. You've got to call it. You can't let him get into the body right Basketball is one of the most difficult uh, games to call, but it's also one of the most fun games to be a part of. Very intense. It's a fast-paced game. To me, Hazel Walker was a legend. There was no league for women's professional basketball. Sports stories are awesome stories. And we're asking you to help us continue to tell these Arkansas sports stories by making a donation to Arkansas PBS. Just scan the QR code on your screen. If you're enjoying these high school championship games, if you appreciate our commitment to telling stories about the heart and soul of Arkansas sports, then please contribute. That QR code will tell you how, and you'll see it pop up throughout these championship games. All right, Sully, that's going to do it for us at halftime. Ed, looking forward to some big second half action. That's right. Let's get you back to Bank OZK Arena for the second half here on your home of the high school basketball state finals, Arkansas PBS. Thanks for watching. The Electric Cooperatives of Arkansas. Over 2,500 team members across 17 local electric distribution co-ops, powering homes, farms, and industries somewhere across Arkansas. We are the Electric Cooperatives of Arkansas. Power and people. Can you see her greatness? When you attend her games, when you cheer her on, or when you participate in any way, you support your community and make it better, and you will see her greatness. Join us as we pledge to increase the visibility of women's sports in our communities. It makes a difference when we all are involved. At Everett Butte GMC, we proudly support our local female athletes and encourage you to do the same. See her greatness. Hands up, hands up, hands up, hands up, hands up, hands up. Let me see it, let me see it. Bounce, 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 bounce. And hey, we welcome you back to Bank OZK Arena here in the Spa City. Kyle Deckelbaum and Kevin Davis, 25 years as the head coach at Sylvan Hills, who has played both these teams and knows them as well as they know each other. It's a 26-18 Pine Bluff lead. Take a look here at some of the first half stats and ask you what stands out to you, Coach, here. Well, I think if you're Lake Hamilton, uh, coach has got to feel pretty good uh, that uh, they missed some chip shots and they're still hanging right in here with them. Uh, so he knows and that they're going to play better than that in the second half, and he gets his kids to believe that coming out. Uh, Pine Bluff has to stick with what they're doing well because the, the inside play, uh, you know, the work on the boards, uh, the shots that they're making inside, I, I think the consistency that Pine Bluff's played with throughout the game, you know, in all facets is, yeah. is really helping them. Yeah, pretty amazing. I think Lake Hamilton out-rebounding Pine Bluff by one. The two teams, by the way, combined one for 13 from beyond the arc. If we take a look at these first half highlights, and it's been a good one. It's been played at a pretty good pace, just as we expected between these two teams without any secrets between them. They're meeting for the third time. Easton Hurley there laying it in. How big has Jordan Harris been on both ends in this game? Harris with eight points and five rebounds. Feels like he's been everywhere. Pennington has been quiet. That is Robinson there, and he had a big bucket. He left the game briefly. Good to see him back in at the end. Crutchfield, that effortless shot. That is Harris nailing it. And Pine Bluff with a 26-18 lead. It is a sellout, by the way, here at Bank OCK Arena. 6,500, as you'd expect. These are two great sports communities, Pine Bluff and Lake Hamilton, that support their teams well. And a state championship on the line between them. 
So if you're Billy Dixon, Pine Bluff coach, what are you telling your team here? Well, Pine Bluff is, you know, I think this year, I, I think they've gotten stronger sometimes as it goes in that second half. Uh, so I think he, he talks to, to his team about, you know, what they've done all year in the second half and going out and recreating that same uh, intensity and environment for his team in that second half. Now your Sylvan Hills Bears, by the way, as I mentioned at the top of the broadcast, have one of the four wins over Lake Hamilton. You face Pine Bluff, and you held Pine Bluff just like this to 26 points in the first half, but uh, <laughs> learned very quickly what they're like in the second half. Yeah, I did. And, you know, we struggled to score uh, early on. That was that was the big thing. And, and as I said, Pine Bluff uh, causes that. You know, he you know he causes some – they cause some of those rush shots, uh, their athleticism and their, and their, and their power. Uh, well, here we go. Barnett back to Hall around a crutch view. Barnett on the shot fake, pulls up, knocks it down. The second three of the game, Xavier Barnett buries it. That was big, like Hamilton kind of sagging in the lane and made him pay. Makes it an 11-point Pine Bluff lead. They can pull away in a hurry, but Lake Hamilton can get right back in games in a hurry. On the drive there, Hurley's off the mark. Hall gives it off to Barnett. Bounce pass inside to big Jordan Harris. Back to Hall. Around to Barnett. Back to Hall. Pulls up, and he's fouled on the way up. Foul's going to be on Zach Pennington. Time left showing a lot of patience. Pennington 0 for 4. Just would not have thought the school's all-time leader in career points would be held scoreless in that first half, but, you know, he could turn it on with the snap of a finger. Still early, they don't need to press. He doesn't need to press right here. Take your time, get what you want. Zach Pennington will bring it up for the Wolves. Corner, pull up three. That is money. Nice set. That's what you want right there. Ty Robinson knocking it down. Much needed bucket there for Lake Hamilton. Here's Crutchfield, gives it off. Loose ball, back regained by Pine Bluff. The kick out, Barnett, top of the key. No good. And uh, Lake Hamilton tried to go in transition there, but the pass was a bit too long. Good block out right there. Once you get that possession, that's important. Just hang on to it, don't force it. Seems like Pine Bluffs can tend to slow this one down a little bit, Coach. They are. They've been very methodical. I said exercising a lot of patience. Braden working to the hoop. There's Gets it to go. Power basketball. That is fine. It's Pine Bluff. It's what they do. Stay with what they're doing. To the corner, Robinson. He has eight in this game. On the drive. Good nice luck, LeBron. Feed. Kristen, oh, but he couldn't finish. Another missed easy bucket there for Lake Hamilton. Yeah, they just keep doing what they're doing. Got to concentrate a little more and make those easy ones. Harris, bounce pass. Crutchfield right taken away. Good hands in the lane. Lake Hamilton's going to try to move the other way. Robinson gives it off to the corner. That one's not there from Hurley. Another Rebound, Kristen. Another offensive glass. Make it, make it pay. Zach Pennington nice gets a little fake. bit of a lane. Can't finish. LeBron Kristen there for the second time, and this time he gets it to go. Well, Campbell did a great job on the offensive glass, giving him second and third opportunities. LeBron Kristen, whose older brother played at Louisiana Tech and had a family member playing the WNBA. Underneath, Harris, that's too easy for him. Uh, Jordan looking a little tired, and then he does that. Uh, <laughs> he's just pacing himself. Submitted to Missouri as a tight end is Harris. On the drive, Kristen, and that's going to be an opposite charge on Kristen. 
That is his first. Hall doing a good job moving his feet, trying to cut the baseline off. Anytime you kind of extend that, extend that arm, extend that elbow. A 12-point Pine Bluff lead here. It seems like they are content at giving Lake Hamilton fewer possessions. On the baseline drive, Crutchfield no, out of bounds, Lake Hamilton ball. Didn't really need that foul. Yeah, it's going to be on Harris. That would be his third. Pennington gives it off. Robinson from the corner. Not there. Robinson one for four from beyond the arc. Lake Hamilton one for 11 from three-point range. Yeah, the perimeter game is uh, suffered tonight on both ends for sure. And you said I that was a big key for Lake I Hamilton. I did, yeah. Right on the money, Coach. Underneath. Well, we Braden working on Kent and draws the foul. I think that one three they had was when they were really collapsing in the lane and when they knocked that open three. So they're making it tough on Lake Hamilton in there. Inbound from underneath to come up on the four minute mark here in the third quarter. Crutchfield gives it off. Barnett on the drive, pulls up, gets it to go. Xavier Barnett makes it a 37-23 Pine Bluff lead. He had the three earlier, so maybe made the defender come out on him and then took him in the lane. Lake Hamilton can score, but I don't know if they can afford to let the lead get any bigger than this. A turnover. Barnett has it. Gets a screen inside. Graydon, good look, kick out. Crutchfield and Pine Bluff will reset. Barnett doing just as Billy Dixon Hope running this offense through his progressions. Baseline drive, Crutchfield the reverse. Nice finish along the baseline. Timeout, Lake Hamilton. It's a 16 point Pine Bluff lead. Billy Dixon's now look in his eyes. His team comes over to the bench. You're watching the Centennial State Basketball Championships at Arkansas PBS Sports. There's a lot more going on in your mouth than you may realize. Our mouths are home to 700 species of microbes, which include germs like bacteria and fungus. These microbes live on the surface of your teeth, on your tongue, and around your gums. Some of these microbes are actually good for you, helping manage the growth of bad microbes and protecting teeth from the harmful bacteria in food. The harmful microbes are responsible for tooth decay. These problem-causing bacteria feed on sugar in the food and drinks we consume, leaving behind a sticky film on teeth called plaque and enamel-destroying acids. The more sugar you have in your diet, the more microbes can multiply, creating more plaque and possibly damaging teeth. So what can we do about all the bacteria in our mouths? The good news is keeping the bad bacteria under control is as easy as following your regular home oral care routine. Just keep brushing twice a day flossing once a day, and seeing your dentist regularly for cleanings and exams. Talk with your dentist if you have questions about your oral care routine. At Delta Dental of Arkansas, we're proud to be the champions of your smile. For more helpful oral health tips and information, visit www.deltadentalar.com. They were sending a special thank you to Schlotzky's of Hot Springs at 3251 Central Avenue for providing food for our fantastic, hard-working crew. Kyle Deckelbaum and Sylvan Hills coach Kevin Davis, a spin, a kick out. Zach Pennington, he just can't buy a bucket in this one. Barnett's no. rushing the other way. He's got what, a lid on it. But what do you see the way Pine Bluff's kind of taken over here with their physicality as Hall 
can't connect there. Yeah, they get stronger sometimes in that second half. Like Hamilton needs to just be patient. Don't hurry your way back in the game. You know, run your set, get you what you want, and take advantage of when Pine Bluff makes a mistake. Robinson closely guarded. We'll give it off to LeBron Christian. And a foul there. It's going to be on Hall. Still a lot of game left. They're fine, but they they just don't need to hurry right here. They need to take their time and uh, kind of impose their will a little bit right now. You're going to need some threes to fall, though, in this game. They are one for 12 from three-point range. Yeah, if they'll if they'll do that, I think they'll get a they'll get a uh, three or so to fall for. Them. Well, that's a good look there. It's a good start, Charter there, Harris. There it is, right there. Anchor down and play defense and see if you can't uh, take advantage right here. Line bluff slowing this one down. Switching defense. Go a little one through one here. Inside Barnett. There you go. Now take advantage of uh, those mistakes. You got a big deficit like this. Lake Hamilton may have some of these opportunities. Yeah. Uh, we know as coaches, those will come. Pennington guarded by Crutchfield. Trying to get by him. Spinning in the lane. Dumps it off. Robinson nice. in the paint. It's two really good possessions right there. Scoring from the exact same spot. They got it within 12 here. 39-27. I really like that they settled in on those last two possessions. I thought they took a couple of hurried shots earlier. Hall! Buries the deep three. Braylon Hall knocks it down. There's a perimeter shot going in. Good look underneath. Robinson lays it in. Beautiful back shot. Lake Hamilton answering at the other end there. Crutchfield. And he draws the foul. It's going to be on Charter Harris. And that is his second. Not necessarily a bad foul with uh, Crutchfield going to the, <laughs> in the lane to the rim like that. Well, you know what he's capable of. Exactly. Yeah, he said some of the best sort of social media worthy highlights. Turnover there. Robinson. Don't hurry. Holds it, and he tried to pull off the fancy pass for LeBron Kristen, who was not ready for it. Hamilton's going to come with a press. If they can't uh, change the flow a little bit. Barnett driving on Zach Pennington. Has a lane. The floater not there. Tipped around underneath the putback, and a foul's going to be called on the way up. Darian Graydon was ready for it there, and he's going to go to the line. Back-to-back yeah, -back fouls called on uh, Harris. Really good at, at uh, getting to the rim on those offensive stickbacks. Bring up so quick and get the ball and, and give themselves some second and third opportunities. And Pine Bluff shooting 56% in this game. Of course, outside of Eight three-point attempts. All their shots are from within about six inches of the rim. Yep, and that's where they want to be. You want to be sure you're up above 50% uh, when you're shooting uh, in the lane like that. Those those mid-range and those shots around the baskets, you need to be above 50, and they've done that. Darion Graydon listed at 6'6", 220. Barry's the second. The size is just stunning for Pine Bluff. LeBron Christen at the other end draws the foul on the way up. Good job, chance to score here with the uh, clock stop. And down like this, those are important. Lake Hamilton's rebounded with Pine Bluff. Yeah, 21 to 20. I think field goal percentage is the difference right now. They just got to take the time and and knock them in. How about that? Nine to three in the offensive boards. They've been really active, having a nose for the ball when it comes off. 
15 seconds left in the fast-moving third quarter here. To the corner, Devontae West. And a turnover. LeBron Christa comes away with it. Five seconds left here. He's going to go in for it. Can't finish the layup. Tipped around. And that will end the quarter. Well, that would have been big. Oh, it sure would have. But hey, Lake Hamilton within 12. Pine Bluff trying to close out its first state championship since 2015. We are back for the fourth. After this, you're watching the Centennial State Basketball Championships on Arkansas PBS Sports. Centennial Bank is committed to you. Since our founding in 1999, we've become one of the nation's most trusted banks by remembering that you come first, by empowering our communities to reach their highest potential through our dedication to local charities, education, and exceptional service. Because we are proud to call Arkansas home. Banking with you in mind. Centennial Bank, member FDIC. Thanks, George. Appreciate it. At Big Red Stores, we're always proud to sponsor, support, and partner up with many events and activities throughout the community. Among them, high school championships throughout the state of Arkansas. At Big Red Stores, our team members are always ready to assist you to make your visit with us a pleasant one. And at Big Red Stores, we recognize that none of our support or ability to serve the community is possible without you. That's why, at Big Red Stores, you're always the MVP of the Big Red team. Big Red Stores, now more convenient than ever. Welcome back to the Spa City. This is one of the most highly anticipated matchups of the entire weekend. Pine Bluff and Lake Hamilton. And if you're just joining us, this is how we got here. Robinson has been most of the offense, it feels like, for Lake Hamilton. Left the game briefly with an ankle injury, came back in. He's been very good. Pine Bluff imposing its will. Crutchfield and so many of his teammates right around the rim. And how good has Jordan Harris been? Had that big three there. He's been terrific around the rim on both ends of the court. And Pine Bluff showing its size. Lake Hamilton trying to stay with them here as we get set for the start of the fourth quarter. Kyle Deckelbaum and Sylvan Hills coach Kevin Davis with you. Court side in Hot Springs. Well, Lake Hamilton seven minutes and 50 seconds to try to make a run here. Zach Pennington. If you're just joining us, has not scored yet in this game. That's Hurley pulling up for three, a little bit too strong. Christian fighting for the rebound. Pine Bluff diving on the floor. Lake Hamilton comes away with it. Pennington, too strong again. Another offensive four. Robinson has it. Kicks it out. Hurley's going to try for three. Off the mark. Tracks down the rebound. Hurley gives it back to Robinson. Underneath, tipped away, and Crutchfield has it for Pine Bluff. Hey, Lake Hamilton needs to win the field goal percentage in this fourth quarter. They're, they're rebounding with Pine Bluff, but they've got to win that field goal percentage. Lake Hamilton has had so many opportunities, it feels like, in this game, right around the rim, just not able to convert the way Pine Bluff can. And just like that, how about Jordan Harris, the physical big man, a little slow to get up. That is how big he plays. He's going to go to the line. Look at Harris here. Jordan's got four years experience uh, working those blocks. Uh, seen Jordan do this for a while. Yeah, it's bringing back nightmares for you. <laughs> the average is a double-double, 10 points, 15 rebounds. Really like his game. A lot of poise, a lot of discipline, great footwork. He's just a really, really good player. Yeah, tight end prospect, signed, committed to Missouri on a team with a Running back and wide receiver prospects. And Pine Bluff playing with that football physicality. That's what's gotten them here. And that's what has them up 15, seven minutes away from a state title. Kristen on the drive, blocked from behind. Who else? Harris. Braylon Hall to Harris. Gives it back to Dendy. And Jordan made him pay with a three earlier and then got the N1 three. A block. Spinning around underneath. That one's not there. Good defense. A fight for it. And Pine Bluff has it. Now Kristen comes away with it for the Wolves. LeBron Kristen moving quickly. Gives it to the corner. Hurley pump fake. Drives in the lane. Puts up the shot. Not there. Rebound Pine Bluff. Oh boy. Here comes Crutchfield. And he's just going to lay this one in. Really good job by Pine Bluff walling up down there on the drive. They're up 17. And 
And an off-ball foul as Hurley fell to the floor. I think they're going to call that on Darian Graydon. Well, Scotty Pennington just shaking his head there, Coach. Yeah. Uh, They've missed a ton of threes, and I said that was the key to the game that they need to make knock some of those in. One for 14. Block and foul. Get to that point where the clock becomes such a factor now, so they may have to uh, change, put a little pressure on, and, and try to get some points in a hurry. Maybe knock a three or two in, something to change. Minutes go a little faster down the stretch like this. Yeah, it, it feels like Pine Bluff <laughs> has sort of has played the clock all second half. Yeah, I know they're they're so strong in the second half. But they, they're just getting warmed up. Oh, LeBron has it blocked from behind. Austin Dendy driving by Robinson, and that's headed the other way. A little bit too strong there was Dendy on the floater. Yeah, be a little more under control. Great crowd, by the way. Sold out for this session, 6,500. We have 20,842 on the day. So LeBron Kristen will pick this one up. Blake Hamilton down 16. Taken away, great hands. It's Xavion Barnett. At the other end, Barnett content to lay it in. Turns around, he can start to feel it. Yep, good body presence right there. Zach Pennington draws the foul there on Braylon Hall. Fine bluff playing aggressive. They're coming out and picking him up. Have to be careful not to let uh, get fouls called here and let them score that uh, clock stop. That's that first meeting between these two teams. It was Lake Hamilton's sixth game in eight days, and they kind of wiped that one away back in December. The second meeting, Lake Hamilton led by eight at the half, and then Courtney Crutchfield just took over down the stretch. And it hasn't been Crutchfield. Instead, it's been Harris and kind of the entire Pine Bluff team here, just a similar script in this game. Yeah, we played Lake Hamilton before they played that Pine Bluff team, and it was an up-and-down game, so it's probably in their legs a little bit. Uh, I think Coach talked about scheduling. Uh, kind of hurt him right there. And then, like I said, Pine Bluff. Uh, you said Crutchfield got going in the second half. That's what they do. Hey, Arkansas PBS has the perfect keepsake from the game. Download photos at myarpbs.org slash photos. How many parents and fans potentially from Pine Bluff are going to want to remember every moment of this night? One of the marquee matchups of the weekend. Pine Bluff and Lake Hamilton, two teams that have developed quite the rivalry. Two great sports communities in this state. Yeah, I know their shots haven't gone in on the perimeter like you know, like they want. And some, some nice that happens. It's always better when that ball goes in. Well, look at Robinson limping there. Yeah, it's a, it's a grind. Early he, injury made it made it tough on him. Yeah, he's gotten this one out. Zach Pennington to the line. He was six foot senior playing his last game for his dad, Scotty. He is signed with SAU where his dad played. And his dad says he is a cerebral player. He could call plays behind the bench at age five. Picked it up right from his dad. He actually didn't start him in school early because they wanted him to be able to play with his brother. You think about what a special season this has been for the Penningtons make it here they've been knocking on the door lake hamilton in the semis three of the last five years they make it to the finals for the first time since 97 a great ride for the penningtons and how about xavion barnett perhaps with an exclamation point here yeah he's feeling it both ends of the floor barnett has 14 a lay in there pennington zach pennington's first two not taken away by zane the kick out to the corner. Zach's going to pull up. Missed everything there out of bounds.
Shooting woes continue. Uh, Kickball. 53-36, Pine Bluff lead, 4.41 left. You look at the body language about now, Coach. This is a tired, both teams are tired. Pine Bluff plays so physical, but especially Lake Hamilton. Crutchfield. Yeah, uh, Pine Bluff's kind of picked up. Lake Hamilton's feeling it a little bit for sure. The yeah, factor starting to play in. Yeah, physicality can weigh you down. It will. On the drive, the pivot foot, kick out, early for three. There they needed that. There it goes. 55-39. Crutchfield running into contact. That's headed the other way. Well, the Pine Bluff fans did not like that call. I'll knock another one in here. Let's see. Yeah, kind of a bump there. I don't think he thought he didn't have control of the ball. Just two guys going together. LeBron Christian just traveled. I think if he has control of the ball right there, he probably gets the call, but because it was loose, it was a loose ball situation. Well, can't take advantage there. And Barnett with 14 points. He's 6 of 11 from the field, four rebounds. A turnover underneath. In transition, the pass is too strong. 55-39, Pine Bluff. The Zebras starting to feel it here down the stretch of the fourth. You're watching the Centennial State Basketball Championships on Arkansas PBS Sports. For every moment, for every memory, from that first car, to your first home, to your first child, and all the highs and lows that tomorrow might bring, for everything that matters most to you and your family. There's someone right around the corner dedicated to helping you protect what you love. Your local Farm Bureau Insurance agent. Farm Bureau Insurance. Real service, real people. Can you see her greatness? When you attend her games, when you cheer her on, or when you participate in any way, you support your community and make it better, and you will see her greatness. Join us as we pledge to increase the visibility of women's sports in our communities. It makes a difference when we all are involved. At Everett Butte GMC, we proudly support our local female athletes and encourage you to do the same. See her greatness. Fifty-five, thirty-nine, Pine Bluff lead as we come down the stretch of the fourth quarter here in the Spa City. Kyle Deckelbaum and Silver Hills coach Kevin Davis. It has been a balanced scoring night for Pine Bluff, imposing its will here in the second half. Fourteen for Barnett, thirteen for Harris, twelve for Crutchfield. Harris has had a big night as well. It becomes a question here, I think. Who do you? Get, oh, give and go, and a turnover, and that's going to stay with Pine Bluff. Maybe on the line. And uh, Robinson pleading his case, but I think you're exactly right. You wonder, Coach, if, if Pine Bluff hangs on who the MVP might be in this one. I tell you, Jordan has really put up consistent numbers. You look at his rebounds, you look at his field goal percentage, his total points, he's put a nice game together. Barnett gives it back to Crutchfield. Hall finds a lane, gives it back out. Pine Bluff letting the clock run down. Deep, deep three, Barnett. Oh, he got it! Xavier Barnett buries it. That just might do it for Pine Bluff. Deep three-point attempt at the other end, and Ty Robinson answers. And a foul there. It's going to be on Zach Pennington. And that will send Hall to the line. So how about this sequence here, Coach? Yeah, Barnett, I told you he was feeling it. Uh, so that deep three is like, that's no problem. Power basketball from here. Oh, 
Really nice ball rotation. That shot looked just like one from 19 now. <laughs> well, you think about the Pine Bluff program. It's hard to believe their last title came back in 2015. Such a storied basketball program. Knocking on the doorstep here. Yeah, I know Billy and I talked. He's had some young, uh, you know, talent in there, and uh, he's had to, you know, mow those kids. So a lot of that has been inexperience in youth. And now they've grown up. Yeah, I sure have. And Barnett, a senior. But Crutchfield's a junior. Harris is a senior. There he is. Foul on the way up. I think coach told me three of those played with, against us two years ago in the quarterfinals uh, that were freshmen and now juniors. They've been around a long time. Mm -hmm. Six playoff wins in three years for Pine Bluff. Three straight 5A South titles. And they are a confident older team that is proving it here in the third game against their rival, 5A South rival Lake Hamilton. About to leave, no doubt. I think they take on uh, Coach Dixon's demeanor a little bit, too. They've really been calm, really been poised. Uh, hadn't really been able to rattle them in. Yeah, I think that's a great point. Mm -hmm. Billy Dixon as calm as there is. A nice save. And Pine Bluff can run off even more clock here. Crutchfield, though, drives, gives it off, and it's going to be an offensive charge on Crutchfield. Good job stepping in front. Get a stop, come down, and let's uh, see if we can't get a three here. Get fouled and get to the line. Maybe you can score with a clock stop. Zach Pennington just one for eight in this game. The story of the game, Lake Hamilton three for 17, I think, from beyond the arc. Yeah, I've had several groups come in here and play, Kyle, and they talk about the lighting in there, you know, something you have to get used to. That was a technical foul there. You can see Scotty Pennington not exactly happy. A little bit of frustration, I'm sure, there. And understandably yeah. so, yeah. I think, the, you know, the way they shot and Missed some gimmies, not good from three-point range either. Robinson, that's the story of their night for Lake Hamilton. On the other end, they're going to slow this one down. Nope, Lake Hamilton comes away with it. There goes Zane Pennington. Can't finish. At the other end, Crutchfield throws it down for Pine Block. And the Zebras fans on their feet. Giving them a show. They teed that one up for him. Hurley can't get it to go. Crutchfield the rebound. Two minutes to play. 61-42 Pine Bluff lead. And a foul call. We're hearing the Pine Bluff chance. It's a great fan base that's been hungry for another championship. How about that dunk there from Crutchfield? You knew he was kind of waiting for his chance to do it all game. Yeah, he was leaking out a little bit on that one. And those rebounders, they're so physical and powerful. They get it, and, and that full court overhead pass is, is, is easy dunk. 
And they have great awareness by Bluff, right? I mean, it seems like they, they just sort of know where they all are, maybe because they've played together so long. You know, and they're so active in getting their hands. You know, look at deflections and, 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 and fingers that they get on the ball. You know, they're really good at that. Robinson, quick pull up three. And a foul underneath. That was Trotter Harris that fell. They're going to call that on Jordan Harris. A little too aggressive on the box out. You'll see it here. Yeah, well said. Instead yeah, so of just pursuing the ball, I think he was trying to keep Harris from getting in there. So Harris has four and Dendy has four. But he's done a good job managing the game, you know, from the foul standpoint. Jordan's protected himself. Nineteen point game final. One forty five here. Crutchfield the give and go off to Dendy. A turnover. Robinson pulls up for three. They've got to do that. Missed everything. And this will stay with Lake Hamilton. Zach Pennington will inbound underneath for Lake Hamilton. Give Scotty Pennington credit. He's built a great program for the Wolves. Scotty does a great job. And I tell you what, uh, all these kids out here are not just outstanding. And, and their coaches deserve a lot of credit in the, in the development. This is really high level varsity play with these kids. Yeah. And Billy Dixon about to win his second title at Pine Bluff. I know he's had a lot on his plate, by the way. He's also the AD for Pine Bluff. I think he had so much to do even before thinking about this game. Now, there's a lot to do just on the coaching end. So you know you had the AD duties with it. it makes it really complicated. Still coaching down to the wire here. Well, Pine Bluff imposing its will for sure here in the second half. It was a 26-18 Pine Bluff lead at halftime. Nice job there, Austin Dendy. Good job, Pine Bluff spread the floor. They are shooting 63% in this game with the Zebras. Outstanding. Kick out Robinson. That's off the mark. He's tried hoisting some up, but this has not been his game. Crutchfield lays it in. But he has gotten through that injury for sure. Final 45 seconds here. Zach Pennington buries a three. Uh, he might have been shooting too close. We need to back up a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Right in front of his dad. And Coach Scotty Pennington's going to get that bench in. Applause as Easton Hurley and LeBron Kristen go to the bench. Well, I know uh, Lake Hamilton's a little frustrated, of course, tonight with, with the shooting, but uh, I mean, they're, they're much better than this. You know, we, we have nights like that. Uh, I can tell you these are these kids shoot the ball. They can shoot the ball. And how about the applause here? Crutchfield and Barnett with big hugs. Crutchfield to the bench in front of a standing ovation. This is Devontae West, a bounce pass up to Barnett. No foul call in the contact there. A oh, three-second difference between shot and game clock. Lake Hamilton won't foul. This has been an impressive show by Pine Bluff. Underneath the block from behind. Out of bounds will stay with Pine Bluff. They are leaving 
no doubt. Standing ovation now for Xavion Barnett. The senior leaves the court for the last time. And blocked from behind. On the drive, West has it blocked. Here comes Zach Pennington the other way. His final game. They're going to try to let some of the other guys shoot here. And how about that? <laughs> Well, you feel good for some of the younger guys to get in the game. Oh, that's always good. This state tournament experience is a special thing. Pine Bluff will run it out. That'll do it. The Z's are awake again. State championship number 14 for Pine Bluff. 67-51 as Pine Bluff pours onto the court to celebrate. Standing ovation and cheers for their great fan base. And this story program is atop the state once again. A 67-51 win for Pine Bluff, the championship for the Zebras, their 14th in program history. We'll be back to wrap this one up. We'll hear from Billy Dixon and find out who the MVP is when we come back on the Centennial State Basketball Championships at Arkansas PBS. The Electric Cooperatives of Arkansas. Over 2,500 team members across 17 local electric distribution co-ops powering homes, farms, and industries somewhere across Arkansas. We are the Electric Cooperatives of Arkansas. Power and people. Centennial Bank is committed to you. Since our founding in 1999, we've become one of the nation's most trusted banks by remembering that you come first, by empowering our communities to reach their highest potential through our dedication to local charities, education, and exceptional service, because we are proud to call Arkansas home. Banking with you in mind. Centennial Bank, member FDIC. For every moment, for every memory, from that first car, to your first home, to your first child, and all the highs and lows that tomorrow might bring. For everything that matters most to you and your family, there's someone right around the corner dedicated to helping you protect what you love. Your local Farm Bureau Insurance agent. Farm Bureau Insurance. Real service. Real people. Stream the best of PBS on any device with the PBS Video app. All your favorite drama, history, science, news, and documentaries, all in one place. Watch your PBS station live or catch up on the shows you missed. Support your PBS station and you can get Passport, giving you full seasons, early releases, special collections, and more. Download the PBS Video app or watch online. Can you see her greatness? When you attend her games, when you cheer her on, or when you participate in any way, you support your community and make it better, and you will see her greatness. Join us as we pledge to increase the visibility of women's sports in our communities. It makes a difference when we all are involved. At Everett Butte GMC, we proudly support our local female athletes and encourage you to do the same. See her greatness. Thanks, George. Appreciate it. At Big Red Stores, we're always proud to sponsor, support, and partner up with many events and activities throughout the community. Among them, high school championships throughout the state of Arkansas. At Big Red Stores, our team members are always ready to assist you to make your visit with us a pleasant one. And at Big Red Stores, we recognize that none of our support or ability to serve the community is possible without you. That's why, at Big Red Stores, you're always the MVP of the Big Red team. Big Red Stores, now more convenient than ever. Hi, I'm Jay Schwanke, the host of Life in Bloom. Oh. 
And how about this trophy celebration for Pine Bluff? The program's 14th state championship, first since 2015. Smiles galore. What a celebration here on the court at Bank OZK Arena. Congratulations, Coach Billy Dixon. You can breathe a little bit. <laughs> How's that one feel, my friend? Hey, it feels great. I tell you, it's been a it's been a long grind for us, a real long grind for us, and it's been a real emotional week because uh, you know we lost some of our young people in tragedy in Pine Bluff, yeah. and uh, it's been a long week for us. You know, I was kind of concerned about the guys. The last two days at school were not not good days at all because it was just an emotional wreck. So. Uh, it's been tough for us, but uh, it's, a mo it's time to celebrate. It's time to celebrate. Community for sure that deserves it. That was uh, impressive in the second half. I mean, the way you can impose your will, the power, that's, um, that's very impressive. Well, we, we always make the adjustment. If you look back at how we played, the second half has always been the best basketball that we played. And that's because these guys are experienced guys. They're, they're veterans and and uh, how we bring the program along in terms of paying attention to what the other team does, what the adjustments need to be at that particular moment. And, uh, you know, we say we have to win the first three minutes of the third quarter, and from that point, you got to keep pushing it away, and that's what they did tonight. Well, you guys pushed your way into a state championship. Congratulations. Thank you so well much. Well deserved for the community of Pine Bluff. Absolutely. I mean, uh, just for the community in terms of uh, the support that they've given us, behind us, they asked me, Coach, can we have a, a pep rally? I was like, no. Coach, can we do this? I'm like, no. <laughs> so they came to me the other day, and they was like, Coach, come on, let us do something for the kids. I said, this is what you can do for us. Give us a parade when we come back. That's there so you that's go. what we want. You're already <laughs> planning it. Yeah, already planning it. <laughs> Enjoy it. Thank you so much, Billy, guys. thank you so Congrats, much. Congrats, Coach. Appreciate it, man. Well done. Good. Yeah, Coach is proud of you. Let me take that from you here. The MVP in this game is Courtney Crutchfield. Let's take a look at our stats. A 67-51 win. How about Pine Bluff? 59% from the field. Very impressive for Pine Bluff imposing their will down the stretch. Lake Hamilton, 33% shooting. It was even worse than that earlier in the game. They hit some late. And uh, Pine Bluff imposing its will, 27 to 46. One surprising thing there, Coach, Lake Hamilton getting up even more shots. That's something Pine Bluff prides itself in. But how about Courtney Crutchfield? This is a, and Courtney will bring you in right here. He's still celebrating the MVP. Congratulations, let me put this on you here. Courtney, congratulations. Appreciate it. I tell you, there, any one of two, three, four guys could have been MVP in this game. How's it feel for you? I mean, it feel good, like I say, this not only for me, as I say, it's for the whole team. We all came out ready to play basketball. We got the victory. That's for the whole community. Coach talked about how much that meant to you guys. I can't hear you. Coach was saying how much it meant to the community of Pine Bluff. Oh, it means a lot. Week. It means a lot. They've been talking about it all week. Can't wait to get back to the city and have some fun. And he was talking about the parade when you guys come back for sure. <laughs> yes, sir. It's a parade inside my city. <laughs> hey, how about the way you guys can impose your will, uh, the physicality of this team? I mean, we're a very physical team. We feel like can, no, can nobody in the country match with it inside. Coach, I mean, they feed off your energy, so you bring a lot to that, and I think you're, you know, that, that's kind of runs rampant through your team, and I think that starts with you. You feel like they uh, feed off of you. I feel like they feed off me, but like I said, we've been playing with each other since the ninth grade, and our chemistry exactly. just there. Yeah. As that shows. Courtney, congratulations. Appreciate it. Well congratulations. done. Well done. Well done. Courtney Crutchfield, the MVP here. Pine Bluff winning its 14th state championship and uh, coach they left no doubt the the best in 5a yeah they did you know i said uh, i've seen a lot of power basketball players but this team had power basketball all through its ranks those five six kids on the floor you know they all play with that when they, they just together and and that's what this is about those, those guys that can come together and, and create that so congratulations to those kids hey congratulations to all our state champions today farmington little rock christian Greenwood and now Pine Bluff winning and let's look ahead to what we have tomorrow it is going to be a lot of fun it'll start with Conway and North Little Rock couple heavyweights that'll get things going for the 6A and 1A games on a Friday here in Hot Springs what a game to round out the first of four games here on this Thursday in the Spa City Ty Robinson gotten through the injury but it is Pine Bluff imposing its will with the state championship our coverage will begin tomorrow at noon with Conway and North Little Rock. Two heavyweights. That's going to be fun. The 6A girls game 
We will leave you until then tonight. We appreciate you joining us. Coach Kevin Davis and our fantastic crew. I'm Kyle Deckelbaum saying so long for now until tomorrow from Hot Springs. You have been watching the Centennial State Basketball Championships on Arkansas PBS Sports.